begin to think that painting outdoors is about as close as you can get to making art with no clothes on. It, uh, it never ceases to amaze and quite how intense it is and uh, you know there's nowhere to hide um, in this case neither from myself or indeed from all the people walking their dogs on the canal path which added an extra level of excitement to whole proceedings. It really does strip away all of the fiddling about you can do in the studio and the dilly dallying, planning and correcting and reversing. You've just got to get on with it and do your best and make it happen. I always come back from these outdoor painting sessions slightly uh, uncertain as whether I've done a good job or not really. Um, you've got to make so many artistic decisions so quickly that it's quite hard to know <laughs> if, if, if all of them were good or indeed any of them. The thing which I think I feel increasingly is a quite sort of cowardly when it comes to this outdoor painting lot. Certainly this looks nothing like what I thought I was going to do and I was just kind of planning to paint something with a lot more thick paint in the style of the other canal pits I did earlier in the year. But once it begins to kind of come together I think I, I lose my nerve a bit and just stop interfering and terrifying fear that I'm going to ruin it. I suppose it's a little bit like uh, that old adage about going into battle that even the best battle plans go to pieces once the first shot is fired. I feel that's a little bit like painting outdoors really. But I think the positive thing about it, the really nice thing about it, is that I was just feeling a bit overwhelmed by not quite knowing what to do today and having various projects going on or not going quite to plan and kind of being between things and actually going and painting outdoors is a really nice way just to go and do what I'm here for. The whole point that it's easy to forget sometimes is to be making paintings and you do kind of cut out all the dead wood of painting making and just make art and just go and make a nice painting outdoors in a beautiful place and that's certainly what I did today so that's all quite satisfying really. In other news guys, I think I've gone a bit pear-shaped with this uh, frame I've been making. I sold this painting uh, of a snowy scene, which you see behind me. Um, and uh, as you know, I have this sort of... Uh, I'm not going to call it a trademark frame, just a, tra a frame that I like making, where I put a painting in a big white frame, and they like the idea of that. And so I've made a big white frame, but I'm now suddenly a little fearful that it might be a bit too big, not least because I although the proportions are the same as the smaller paintings, in fact it's slightly smaller by proportion, um, I forgot about the white margin actually on the canvas. So there is quite a lot of white to be had there, so if I hold this up... I would... you tell me, tell me what you think. I'd love to know. Is this classy bit of framing? or is this a complete overindulgence? I'd be fascinated to know. Let, let me know your thoughts and we will, we will proceed from there. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you.